Today I would like to um, focus a little bit this presentation. It will be a challenge in nine minutes to go through the expertise we came up with at Calixar. But our main focus is really related to membrane protein targets and uh, hopefully today I will be able to convince you that um, Calixar is the right partner to work with for native membrane protein target isolation. So, um, next slide, Calixar is a small biotechnology company, so it, was, um, it has three years existence and um, we are about 17 people right now, 10 PhDs. So our main focus, so we are based in Lyon in France. Um, we are mainly uh, focusing on natively solubilizing functional membrane protein um, targets for different uh, studies that can be antibody discovery, but also screening of ligands, vaccine, and, uh, and so on. So we'll describe some cases later on. So um, the platform that we uh, offer to our clients or partners um, is um, a discovery platform that uh, starts basically from the gene of the protein, the gene corresponding coding for the protein, uh, or the cells, or even tissue or organ. And the idea is to be able to, through this uh, discovery platform, to isolate highly pure, functional, stable, native, and compatible crystallization uh, protein that can be also transportable within detergent or in the liposome uh, format. So this is really an innovative platform that uh, allow you to conserve the native format of the target without having to go through any point mutations or deletions to stabilize uh, the target. So the idea is really to be able to start from endogenous system or from recombinant systems to be able to uh, then therefore um, extract and solubilize and purify the protein of interest for discovery purposes. So the endogenous system means that we are able to uh, solubilize targets from organs, so it can be brain, heart, whatever. Uh, we have been very successful in solubilizing membrane protein targets from viral particles. So we have R&D programs actually on HIV and also on influenza. We have uh, interaction with um, pharma companies on the bacteria, some, uh, some um, uh, endogenous bacteria that are relevant uh, functionally. And we have also the possibility to um, solubilize and purify membrane protein targets from endogenous cells that can be macrophage, monocytes, blood cells, and so on. So this idea here is not only to purify the protein for, for having it, but also to characterize further, for example, partnership situations. If your protein is interacting with some partners, you will be able to identify these partners. And then, of course, we make use, sorry, we also make use of recombinant system to be able to overexpress the protein of interest. And then for that, we have access to expression of E. coli in yeast, hex cells, CHO cells, but also insect cells, um, you know, infected by bacterial virus expression system. So this is really uh, interesting because this is how we will adapt to each biochemistry of target and to each application because a crystallographic project is not, uh, does not require the same uh, quality controls than, uh, you know, an antibody project and so on. So also a protein, if need to be glycosylated or not, you will not uh, use the, the same expression system. So this is very important to have this kind of flexibility for providing, uh, uh, you know, customized expression system. So as I said, I forget to mention it before, sorry, uh, after extraction and purification, what is not shown in this slide, but it's really important to figure out if the sample is um, in the right format. So that means that we have to validate the quality of the sample by two ways. So from the structural point of view, we have a battery of biophysical methods to ensure that the protein is actually folded correctly, that the protein is um, monodispersed, that it's homogeneous. This is what will condition the success of your uh, application. And in parallel, we also have the possibility to actually ensure that during the process of solubilization and purification, this, the protein was not um, affected in its functional integrity. And then for that, we have different um, you know, assays to, to, to verify, so radio ligand binding, ELISA, and so on. So it always depends what the target we are working with, but it's important to really validate the structure and the function of the target before we go on with the uh, scale up of the purification. So and we, 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 our technology is really uh, around 
a non-denaturated process, which is a patented technology that was spin it off from, from this uh, research center of science in France. And then the advantage of this technology is that you have no refolding steps, you have no mutagenesis whatsoever, which is great if you want to keep the protein native and if you want to work with something which is biologically relevant. And this is compatible with quite high purity. So at the end of the day, what you want to have is a purified and stabilized full-length protein to be used for different applications. So for this particular purpose, we synthesize detergent surfactant molecules that act not only to solubilize the target, but also to keep it in the right conformation, to have it in the right assembly mode. So if the protein is a tetrameric protein, you have to be able to keep it as a tetrameric protein. Uh, if the protein is an agonist conformation, you have to be able to hopefully keep it in agonist conformation. So this is really a key uh, element for the applications uh, of entries. So, and this is through the interactions of detergent surfactant that we synthesize, and we are the only one to, to have in-house. Um, that make specific contact that will guarantee this functional conservation and this uh, very good behavior and solution. So the classical approach of membrane protein isolation have tendency basically to modify by mutations and deletions the, the, the nature of the protein to be able to adapt to the, to the environment. What we do at Calixar is just the opposite of that. So we will modify the chemical environment around the protein and keep the protein as native as possible. And this is very uh, important if you want to preserve the structural and the functional integrity of your target. And also, uh, we don't introduce any bias to the system. This is compatible, as I already mentioned before, with highly pure material. And additionally, there is no restriction to one family of protein. So that means that we can work class 1 GPCR, but also with ion channels. You can apply the same thing to viral targets. And then you can go on with transporters as well. So our proteins um, that we produce using our process were used for different applications. So pharma companies, biotechnology companies, academic groups that work with us use this, these proteins to uh, screen uh, ligands, also to do structure-based drug discovery or fragment-based drug discovery, also to derive antibodies, conformational antibodies against uh, the target, native target, to do immunoassays that can be very helpful for diagnosis, but also to um, do um, or to generate uh, the potent antigen that can be used to have a better vaccine. So altogether, um, we have been uh, working with all kinds of membrane proteins, as you can see here in this. You can, uh, we, work with, we work with GPCRs, with onkers, with porine, with viral targets, with enzymes, receptors, ion channels, as well as transporters. So I guess what this slide is showing you is, the, is that we are not lucky so that we are not working on one family of protein that, uh, that we can make it work. We can be successful in, in, in all kinds of uh, uh, target that have very different biochemical background. And this is really helpful. So altogether, we have done uh, in three years now more than 90 different projects. We have uh, around 20 ongoing projects in parallel. And we have a quite good success rate in terms of functional isolation. And the purity is uh, quite high as well. So our working plan and business um, model uh, is kind of uh, synthesized here. So we work as a fee-for-service uh, business model for now. This might change in the, in the near future. So, but basically our work plan is organized around two steps. One step is what we call feasibility study, in which we will look at uh, conditions to express the protein, to find a condition to solubilize the protein, purify it, Quali quality control that, and then when we have those conditions, then we can go on to the next step, which will be to scale it up and be able to obtain enough material to derive antibodies or to uh, crystallize and so on. So, so we have possibility to do exclusivity uh, options, so meaning that we will work only on the target of interest only with you. And we have also the possibility to uh, license our, um, our technology. So. Uh, we also offer other services related to structural biology that it's not the purpose of this uh, description of this presentation today, but that's something that we do. So our headquarters, like I said, are uh, in Lyon, but we also do have a business office in the US, but also in Tokyo, in Japan. 
So this is uh, our uh, email addresses. So please uh, uh, contact us if there is some specific interest, specific requirement on uh, native and functional membrane protein targets. I will be around uh, after this presentation. So if you have specific questions, please don't hesitate to uh, get back to me. Thank you very much again for your attention.